and welcome back to Super Reaction Bros. Today we have a trailer for a movie that I guess wanted a sequel for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. A sequel for that movie, I yeah, mean. Yeah, it's titled Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. And it's going to be one of the first Netflix produced, I think Netflix produced or Netflix distributed movies. Yeah, because they've been going back and forth how a lot of them, for a lot of the shows that you see that Netflix has on their on their site, and we, a lot of them always say was um, oh, was it a Netflix original? When they're trying to, they're going to start. Supposedly, they're going to start getting rid of that because it's like, it's not really one of their own. It's something that they're just, they're just, you know, hey, we're advertising them. That's now, it. Now, for those who don't know, the first Crash of Tiger Hidden Dragon movie was the one of the first big movies and true saw wireframe martial arts. Essentially. Yeah, in a way, it was the first big ultimate I, one. I don't remember much about the first one. I saw most of it, but I fell asleep like halfway through because no, it's really while the good. wireframe work is really cool and amazing. I just I couldn't. I, I the story started, is actually really good. I I, I couldn't. I, I I nodded out during it because no, the, the the story is actually really good and it's very grasping of what's. Yeah, going I'm not on. saying the story is bad. I just nodded you out know, during it because I'm especially like, was it the one was it in the first one we had that that one sword that they had where they just grab was it a simple teacup and it was like, think it's like it's a tap and it goes right through like it's nothing. Now we know nothing about the premise of this except the sequel to the first Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. When we first heard out they're they're uh, doing the second one, we're like, okay, it's gonna be interesting because everybody was, everybody is sort of a fan of it of, of yeah. the first one pretty much. So um, let's get this started. See what uh, they're gonna bring in this uh, sequel for for Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. I just feel like saying that. I don't know why. Here we go. Man. Oh, she's, she's, she's got, she's got. A few of them do come back. Honor, duty, excuses for bloodshed. That is why I left it behind all those years ago. It took just one night to bring me back. Once he has the sword, that will be the end of all of us. Okay, yeah, um, right. I guess, and it, I guess, it, and select IMAX theaters. I guess it's simple. Don't let bad guy get sword, or we're all fucked. Yeah, in a way, that's what it is. But you see some of the actors and actresses that are coming back. Uh, I don't. I'm sorry if I don't know their names. Yeah. Um, but we still recognize them from the original movie, and it looks like I don't know because the original movie it was more subtitled, and they had dubbed it for American audiences. Well, I here guess, it looks like they're going straight up full on. Well, because Netflix is, remember, the one distributing. Yeah, it. they're the one distributing. So it looks like we're just going to get all straight up, you know, they're talking straight English and stuff like that instead of how the first one was. To me, that's taken back away from what the women really made the first one, but we'll see if they, they, they improve yeah. the story. Um, you still see a lot of the big actions with some of some uh, stuff. A lot use. more, a lot more uh, wireframe. Wireframes, but now they're mixing up with a lot of the digital effects. Yeah. Because nowadays that's what, what's taking over. So now it's like they're trying to bring that over. Because you can tell a lot of moves that they did. That's like okay, that that was not wire yeah. wireframe whatsoever. Definitely. But it seems interesting. It um, looks interesting for early. The action, yeah. of course, just like how the first one was, looked very interesting. I hope the story is still captivating. Um, but of course, you know, like like you said. It just seems like it's basically the type of story where it's like, do not let the bad guys get the sword. Get the sword, we're fucked. Exactly. You know, pretty much, that's all it is. But, you know, hopefully there's a good story woven through it pretty much, because it sounds like the main one, the main chick, uh, she, she comes back and she, like she said, she, she was trying to stay away from a lot of this. 
She didn't want to be a part of it. She's like, she no. has to come out of retirement. Yeah, exactly. I must sit. come out of retirement <laughs> to stop them. You know, <laughs> from getting the sword of destiny. It's all up to me, you know? It's like, it's like Bruce Willis in the fifth, fifth element where he's like, I'm retired. You know? It's like, really? I wonder if they were into Tenacious D, them searching for the pick of this thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I, just, I definitely, something I definitely watch on uh, Netflix, because I love these type of movies, because some of their movies I do have good stories. Some of them are just like, okay, I see what they're trying to do. They're just trying to show more of action than mm -hmm. the story. But I've always liked the first movie. So yeah, hopefully definitely. this one lives up to the first one. So Yeah, same here. So if you're in the channel, you can like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to see our last video that we did, um, just to get back caught up with whatever we did, if you missed out on our last video, bam, just click right here and just check it out. See how it is. Also, um, do you, what's your opinion on wireframe, uh, wireframe martial arts? Mm -hmm. Is it something you think that's pretty neat that they that that some movies implement right, some movies implement wrong, or do you believe Bruce Lee's philosophy that wireframe is just it's holding? You know, Bruce Lee always. Uh, uh, Always stated pretty much that it's like it was always holding back of what really what yeah. what, so, what 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 uh, kung fu or even just fighting for all is is really about. Or yeah, or do you, do you believe Bruce Lee's philosophy of wireframe not being you know not being needed in the martial so arts the world? Question is wireframe or no wireframe? That is the question. But other than that, I'm Fox. I'm Bruce, and that's been our SRB. See ya later.